Everything starts here at the CAD station. You know, when I come up with an idea for a putter, um, you know, shape in my mind or whatever it is, I'll write it down and come here the next day and start drawing it. So as you can see here on the screen, it, it all starts very simply. So if I drag you through the tree, you can see how this putter is created. It starts with a sketch first. Believe it or not, that's going to be a putter. It turns into a solid model. And then as we start going down the tree, you can see it slowly develop into an actual putter shape. And if I don't like the way something looks, then I can either move up or back the tree to actually create this the way I want it to look. So you can see we come down here, now we've got somewhat of a putter. And then as we keep going down the tree, you can see the putter come to life. And that's basically a finished part. It could take as little as 40 hours to develop, or it could take as you know, long as you know two months. I spent just on this one section on this putter right here over a week trying to get this so that it would flow correctly and make the putter beautiful. This is probably one of my best putter designs to date as far as the way it was manufactured, designed and the way it flows for a mallet. And it's actually a very popular selling putter. So once it gets through this stage, this is the solid modeling part. Then we get to get into the CAM software, which we will actually bring this model into another software package, which is the machining software. And this is where the actual putter is actually um, milled. So fit, I basically take these shapes here, and I can create custom surfaces and 2D geometry to drive the tooling. And I'll give you a little demonstration here. If I wanted to actually simulate the machining process, then basically what I'd do is I would take this model here, as you can see, and then I can simulate it. And you always want to simulate the actual process <clears throat> because you don't want anything to crash or you could have a lot of expense to fix your machine. So we verify everything. And these tool paths are all driven by either custom surfaces that I've created or 2D geometry off of the part that I've created. And this is how it all starts. Setting the tool path, fixturing on how you hold things could take you know, up to you know, 30 days to make a changeover or to actually bring that putter to life. And <clears throat> so this is really probably, the, I really enjoy this part of it because this is allowing me to be very creative in how I actually not only design the part, but how I manufacture it. And I've always been, um, very good at fixture building. How, how do you approach the problem? How do you do it the less, least amount of setups and how do you do it the most efficient? And that's where I really shined. So anyways, that's the phase before you actually have a finished product.